This is the Training Manager 4 program. We are looking at the Employees area of the program. This screen may be customized. You can resize certain areas of this to fit your monitor. You can hide some areas entirely. And for a little tour, there are five main areas of this program accessible from the lower left-hand corner here. As mentioned previously, the first area is employees, which of course will list your employees for your company. And then you'll have details down here at the bottom for that particular record. The training area contains your different types of training classes. The roles area will contain groups and you assign trainings to these groups. Then the employees in that group trainings from your training area so that you can choose which employees will attend the training. And you can schedule a time for that training to occur. Then the training status area will tie this all together, showing which employees have received which trainings. You can sort this list in different ways to see which employees might have expired trainings. So again, it just ties all the information together from all the other areas here. And then every record from employees through training events will have different tabs to see the different information about that particular record. Some new features for this version 4 of the program. We have an email feature built in. So if you schedule a training, you will have this link here within the training event that you may click. You can send an email to each trainee that will attend the training. You may customize this message. Then if you click OK, it will actually use Training Manager to send the email after you configure it to work in this particular manner. Or you may actually use your Outlook program to send the message as well. And they will receive a regular email which will have the details of that training. There has also been a notification program added to Training Manager which will have an icon in the bottom corner of your screen by your clock. And if you left click on the icon, it will show some notifications for Training Manager for things that require your attention. You may also right click on that icon and there is actually an option to just launch Training Manager right from here. And there's options that you can use to configure this. So you may have the notification application always run in the background. During the installation, you will choose a language to use. Also within each area of the program, you have this query area available. So you can use this to search for records based on different parameters. And you can see some of them here. And of course, if I click on another area such as training events, you can see how there's different filters here that would apply to that specific area. And within each of those five areas, there are also reports available. If I click on the print button at the top of the screen, then you will see a couple different reports within each area. So if I look at roles, for instance, and go to print, then you will see reports that apply to the roles. And for an example report, I can run one against a particular employee that I have selected on this list. There is a configuration screen so you can change some of the information that will appear on the report and how it will appear. And here is an example of that report. Then within each of these areas, there is also an export list option at the top of the screen. It will take all these fields and create an Excel spreadsheet from them.
and here that is in Excel. So whatever the order that your columns were in, it will make those appear in Excel. And of course from Excel you may change it around and create different charts from here if you wish, any sorts of thing you wish to do there.